Let me set this up so I can talk. So today is the concert day. It is like 3.30ish and I wanna leave here by like 5.30 to get there in time because I don't know what traffic's gonna be like. It starts at seven, so yeah. That's it. So I'm gonna get ready. I guess this is kind of like just a get ready with me and uh, the concert. I'm gonna vlog the concert too. So hopefully it goes okay because I said in my last video that I'm really nervous for what happens before the concert. So I guess we're just gonna figure it out. And also, I've never like really parked downtown because where I'm from, there's not like a downtown like where you have to find a parking spot like that. You just park on the side of the road. <laughs> so. I don't know, I guess we'll just figure it out. I'll figure it out. Today, all I've really done is just like chill in this hotel room waiting for it to be time for me to start getting ready. I did drive near campus and I'm really excited to move in tomorrow, which is gonna be the next video, by the way. I think I said that before. I'm super awkward at taking Instagram pictures and I'm gonna be alone today, so I want these to be so good. I want these to be I want these to be good pictures because there is no way I'm going to this concert and not getting any good pictures. That would be so depressing. I will see you guys after my shower. Yeah, one of my nails fell off in the shower, so I have to put it back on. <laughs> the bag i had everything in is a mess already because i was planning on like keeping it semi normal but it is not there is no hope for it anymore so i'm just gonna have to redo it tomorrow before i have to show i put in my contacts and cheap but well, what i was saying before i got in the shower i put on my contacts and it like got folded in half this one and oops and oh my gosh okay and um what's it called like stuck in the back of my eye i'll be back when i finish the first half of my makeup but yeah my eyebrows are like this because i blend the middle out so do not worry you guys but um i put on these these fake eyelashes i don't usually wear fake eyelashes so i have no idea if i put them on right Oh, the glue's so drying. I got the angle. So now I just need my like skin makeup, I guess, which I've never done on camera. I'm not like a makeup fanatic or whatever. I literally use like drugstore makeup and I've had my makeup four years already. Like these are my mom's and I got them like <laughs> years ago. And I use my fingers. <laughs> it's good enough. Then I, I, I literally use BB cream still. I actually didn't start doing like full face, like eyebrows and everything um, until my junior year of high school. Any picture from me, of me from my sophomore or junior year of high school is cursed. And then I use this thing, setting spray. And now I do my blush, which is literally this and it's broken. I like to put like a lot of blush and then like blend it out. Okay, whatever. Good enough. I also don't know if that's too much or too little. So do not. Do not make fun of me. Now I need to blend out my eyebrows because trust, you guys, trust. I don't leave them like this. Literally every time I do this, I ask my sister, what would you do if I would leave the house like this? And she said, sometimes she says she wouldn't tell me anything. Or sometimes she'd be like, are you doing eyebrows like that today? Like shady like that? And I'm like, that's really how you tell me. But whatever. That's good enough for me, honestly. Hmm. Are my eyebrows even? Highlight. I don't even know if anyone does this anymore. This is like a 2016 thing. And then a little more spray. That's probably too much now, but it's okay. I'm done. I don't think I packed lip gloss, but I have Vaselina. Okay, uh, I'm gonna change really quick into my fit and then i will be back i okay i changed into my fit this is my fit um these my fours my oreos and then these pants this shirt it has <laughs> it has bleach stains on it but it's okay it's okay okay um oh that is really good lighting wow well well not anymore i'll see you guys downtown we made it to downtown and I'm 
I'm right here like by where it's gonna be at, but I don't know where to find parking. I don't know how this works. Can I turn left here? Cause I'm gonna. Can I park without paying? Like do I have to pay? How do I even pay? So I just paid, but uh, I paid 20 bucks, bro. 20 bucks for parking. Ugh, because it was 15 in cash, but I only have 10 in cash and 20 card. And I was like, you know what? Whatevs, you only live once, I'm only gonna be here once. So, I just paid 20. Oh my God, people might think I'm homeless because of all the stuff back here when I'm, because I'm moving in tomorrow. Oh my God, I'm getting nervous. Well, I'm early. It starts at seven and it's not, it's 5.55. 555. Five, five. Maybe I'll get off my car in like 10, 20 minutes. And there's these guys in their cars over right over there. And I think they're looking at me through their window, but I'm just trying to not make eye contact or something. I guess we're just gonna see what happens. Well, right now I'm stalling. I'm stalling again. I'm stalling right now. Other than actually going inside, I'm fast. Other than leaving my car, <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> okay, I will be back. I'll see you in like two seconds. Let me just figure my life out really quick because I'm about to have a mental breakdown. Not really a mental breakdown, just uh, I'm freaking out a little. So let me just let me just get my life together really quick, and I will be RB. 10 minutes later and I'm still sitting in my car in the parking because <laughs> I'm scared to leave. I'm just stalling honestly. <laughs> so you literally might just next time see me in my seat or something. That was so stressful. That was so stressful. I'll explain later but I made it to my seat. <laughs> Okay, so basically why I was so stressed was because I had no idea that the arena has like a south entrance, like north entrance, like stuff like that. And I had no idea. So I just went to the closest entrance, which was south. And I just waited there until they opened the doors. And I ended up having to walk like the whole arena inside and then up to the second floor. Because I was lost and I didn't know who to ask for help. Okay, so I don't know if you guys saw, I'll zoom in on him, but there was this person like behind my shoulder and I completely forgot about this until just now, but this guy kept going up to me kind of trying to like flirt, but he literally, like when we were walking up the bleachers to our steps, he was the one right behind me, he was like, woman, he was like, he was like, sit there woman or something like that, like he thought like being demanding was cute and I was like, what are you doing, like why are you talking to me like that? And so, anyway, he, like, goes off, whatever. And then he comes back during that clip. And then he says, he, like, flirts. And he's like, do you have a boyfriend? And I say yes, because I didn't want him to keep flirting with me. He was like, oh, okay, whatever, whatever. And then he's like, if I hear a song I like, I'm gonna for sure come down here and dance with you. And I was like, boy. <laughs> But yeah, I, I just forgot about that until now, so yeah.
big. That was so fun. You guys, I know you guys can't see me, but I don't want to put my light on because people are going to be able to see what I have inside and that's embarrassing. So we just deal with it, okay? You know what? They don't know me. Um, I didn't take pictures of myself, which kind of sucks. But I guess I just won't make the Instagram. <laughs> it's okay though. I am at the hotel. Finally, getting out of there was so bad. Um, it was super good. <laughs> like the songs he chose, like the people, like it was cool to see the whole, ow, the whole arena filled, and like everyone knew like every word to like every song, and like it was just so cool. And when I was there, I think pretty sure I sat in the wrong seat. <laughs> the seat I ended up at was next to some guy. I forgot his name. His name is. So I don't know a good job at explaining what this guy was like. Um, but basically, he was he was I think he said 26 years old, but he was about to turn 27 in three weeks. And I told him I'm 19. He was like, How old are you? And I was like 19. And he kept talking to me. I thought that was gonna be like the hint to be like leave me alone but no <laughs> this guy instead he like keeps talking and gives me advice he's like he says things like don't ever settle for a guy that can't offer you anything he's like like if it was me i could offer you money and i was like what are you saying and then he was also saying things like yeah like me and my friend are going to a club after or maybe we could just go get food since you're like under nine uh, since you're under 21 you know you can't drink or go to clubs and I was like, no, I'm good. I have to wake up early tomorrow. Um, and then he was like, oh, okay. He was like, yeah, I just don't want you to think I'm like some weirdo hitting on you. And then I was like, I do. And then he was like, this guy was like three, four big old beers in though. But he was like, you're like the perfect girl for me. Curly hair, uh, cargos, Jordans, you know, like the type of girl I'd go for. And then I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> but yeah, that's the guy I was going to talk about. I just didn't explain it good. So that that was the story. Oh, yeah. But he would just like tell me things like, don't ever settle. And he'd be like, look for someone I can offer you something. He's like, like, if I were me, I could offer you money. And I was like, guys, <laughs> when did I ask? When did I ask? Also, being alone was not that bad at all. But it was for sure like nerve wracking at the beginning because I was too nervous to like talk to anyone. I think I'm gonna end this here because uh, for the rest of the night, I'm literally just cleaning up this place real quick and editing just like last time. <laughs> so I will see you guys next video. Also, I forgot, subscribe. I forgot to say subscribe last time. <laughs> so please subscribe this time. Um, I don't know if you guys don't know, but I don't know who subscribes to me. Like it doesn't, I don't get a notification, I just see the number. So yeah, someone asked me like literally like a year ago, but I'm just remembering now. So yeah, see you guys next video. Yeah.